G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Rangacorn Games. With next week's release of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, this week has brought some amazing Odyssey merchandise to the world. Due to this, I thought I would unbox three of these for you guys. You can check out my Broken Spear of Leonidas and my Cassandra videos by checking out the description below. So today we're going to be unboxing the Alexios figure. It's currently available in Australia through EB Games or through the Ubisoft website and will set you back around $90. So Alexios is one of the main characters, being the male character you can choose to play as in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Alright, so as always, the first thing we're going to do is look at the outside of the box. So here in the front, you can see the actual Alexios figure through this plastic window. It's very dark in there, so you can't really see him too well, but we'll get to that in a sec. So we've got his name in both English and in Greek here at the top. And we have the Assassin's Creed Odyssey logo down the bottom. Now on the top of the box we have the Assassin's Creed symbol that they're using for this game with the Spartan helmet in the middle. On this side of the box we have three different representations of what the Alexios figure will look like. So at the back here again it's got a picture of what the figure looks like. It's made out of PVC and it's 32 centimeters or 12.5 inches in height and it is a UB collectible. So the character description is Alexios is a fiercely independent mercenary who is always willing to help those in need. He is youthful and funny yet behind his good humor hides guilt and anger. He grew up in Sparta with his family and was trained in combat like a true warrior by his parents. And on this side of the box we have a, another picture of Alexios in his full Sparta uniform. And here he's carrying the broken spear of Leonidas. Alright, so let's unbox this sucker and see what's inside. Now I've already broken the seal, just to make this video a lot easier. Alright, so first thing I'm going to show you is this amazing artwork for the game. If this is anything to do with what the game is going to be like, it's going to look absolutely amazing, especially in 4K. Absolutely incredible. So we'll get that out of the way. So here we have Alexios. So it comes with two weapons here. Let's open this up and have a proper look at him. It's not very heavy, but it does feel extremely sturdy. Alright, we have weapon number one.
And weapon number two. Alright, so I've pieced Alexios together, so let's have a look at him in finer detail. So down the bottom here we have a shield. And if we spin him round, we can see that he is leaping off a rock. So a lot of detail has gone into the base. The rock actually looks and feels pretty lifelike. Alright, so going up a bit further, we have the details of his legs and the sandals that he, they would have worn back in those days. Going up a bit further, we do have his uniform which he's wearing. It does move. It's also got a lot of detail put into it as well. All of these seems to have an incredible amount of detail. Right, so going up further to his arms. In each hand he is holding a separate weapon, which I'm assuming he would use within the game. He also has gauntlets on both arms. And they have gone into amazing detail with both of these as well. And then we have the details of his face. Now that look is absolutely priceless. I'd definitely be scared to face him in battle, that's for sure. Now the only downfall is trying to get both his weapons into his hands was really hard to do. In fact, it was so hard that I don't know if you can see, but this snake head actually snapped off. So it's been super glued back on. But be very careful when you're trying to put the weapons into his hand. So I did follow the box, but as I said, I did find it incredibly hard to get both those weapons into either hand. So there you have it guys, your first look at the Alexios figurine from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now as mentioned, the amount of detail which has gone into this figurine, I definitely think it's worth the $90 that it does cost. And I definitely recommend that if you get the chance, you definitely add him to your collection. If you like this video or found it informative, hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you have any ideas for future unboxings or games you would like reviewed, please leave a comment below. So feel free to follow me on any of my social media accounts, which can be found linked in the description. I will also link the Spear of Leonidas and also the Cassandra unboxing videos in the description as well. And as always, I had fun making this video and hopefully you enjoyed watching it. Catch you later guys.